moving on, what's next or uh, new? So AI is in everywhere. So why not in classification? And why not exploit it in classification? Because it can be very helpful, right? So this is um, the AI in classification model, which helps users classify. So it gives a suggestion to the user. Uh, let's say you have created a part and you want to classify, so it will give you based on its shape, based on its attributes, based on its uh, metadata, it will uh, take in those inputs and make a good suggestion. And it will also show how confident it is by terms of probability, 84%, 5%, and you can decide. So ultimately it's not uh, compulsory you get the option to uh, accept, reject, or modify also manually. So there is always human in the loop. And uh, we can see a quick demo of it with the uh, classification as the AI, just to say that um, after you classify or start to classify, you get something like this. Anyway, we are going to see the video. Yeah. Yes. So in this video, we will use the functionality of AI. So as you can see, we are selecting one of the object, which is milling cutter, and you can see the geometry of that object. Now, after that, we will go for selection of that similar kind of object, which is basically face mill. And this geometry is more or like matching to the milling cutter. So how AI can help in this? So we'll see that functionality. So basically what we will do, we will go to the classification. And as you can see, this face mill component is not classified. So if you go to classification, then using the AI and safe search functionality, it will show the best possible matches. So as you can see on the screen, we got 84% match and 12%. So we are going for 84% match, which is more and for that selected class or hierarchy, we'll, go, we'll get the different attributes. So as per our requirement, we will modify the particular property group values that we want to assign to our selected face mill component. And we will fill the required values. As you can see, we are filling the values. And you can see it also shows the suggested values which can be applied to that particular attributes from the list. Once all the values have been filled, then we can classify that component and that component will go to that matching component hierarchy. So the object has been classified to that particular class. So as you can see, it is classified under face milling cutter, which was selected in the start. So it is classified under the same class. So this is how AI helps you. Also, AI has the functionality of auto classification. If you do want to classify a very large number of objects, so we can set the probability of the matching criteria. Let's say I want to classify the all the objects in a particular group. Uh, with 95% match. So I can put it at a overnight. It will find all the matching objects uh, with reference to particular criteria. And once we will found all the objects using AI, then we have to take the decision whether we want to classify or not. So this is how AI helps in auto classification as well.